All right, welcome back with Skype and Sniping here. It's another unboxing of a uh, IPS monitor. It's a VS229 LCD. I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it real fast. Right on top, it looks like you just got some papers. Doesn't really matter. Got a nice stand. Looks like it, uh, it won't it won't come out. So and it's got it's screwy too. So you can just screw in. So screw in one, you screw it into the monitor. So that's pretty nice, nice and easy. Don't need any tools for that. We have a looks like a DVI cable. It's good. And then we have a VGA kit one. And then power. And then uh, here's a monitor. Packed really, really well. All right, so here is a 21.5 inch monitor. Uh, like I said, it's IPS again, which means you can see it from uh, 178 viewing angle. It's uh, full 1080p. Was that 50 million to one? We got the energy saver too. Um, and actually, on the sticker it says it's a VS229H. It's probably a, it's like a. There's probably different versions of it. So, got that. Uh, let's look down here. Let's take off this real fast. Let's see what's underneath it. Looks like we have a. Uh, it looks like we have something to help with. Uh, just like probably fixing the. Uh, the way it looks on your screen, it looks like we have uh, another like contrast button maybe looks here. Got a menu, brightness, upper, and then we have arrows too with those two. You could probably change from what it has from DVI, VGA, and HDMI. You could probably change right here, that's what that is for. Power button, and then a light for on and off. Also, let's take a look at the stand. Like I said, it's, it's a nice screw-in stand. Looks like it, uh, it can go pretty well, it's nice and easy. It does have vase mounts too, which means uh, you can hook it up to a, um, a monitor mount or anything you'd, you'd like. Uh, see, like I said before, you can probably change it with VGA, DVI, and HDMI. It also has a headphone input, which probably means you can hook up speakers to it as well. But you need to be using HDMI to get any sound out of it. Uh, here's power. You got a lock so you can make sure no one takes it. Let's see how this looks underneath here. If you do want to mount it to your uh, a stand or something. Oh, it looks like you just got four screws you can just take out. Nice and easy. Just pops right out. And just snap right back in. Nice and easy. Nice and thin. Really, really thin. Really like that. I bought not only this one, but I, I bought two more to make three so I can have iFinity mode set up on my computer. Um, I'll, I'll be going over that as well in, in a different video on how to do iFinity and what an active display port cable is. Anything else? Any other questions you guys want to know about this monitor or any type of uh, setup you can do with these? Leave me uh, something down in the comments. One more thing that I do want to say is uh, I will be putting a link down below to the next video that has uh, the active display port cable and um, myself showing you what iFinity looks like and how to set it up as well. Uh, and, and also I'm going to show you as well what IPS looks like compared to uh, a regular LCD display or LED display. Show you different things like that and how you, you, you can't view it from a certain angle. This monitor you can view from, like I said, 178 degrees. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you the difference between that with different laptops and different monitors. 